In this video we're going to talk about an important formula called the change of base formula. So it's very useful in that it lets you take any logarithm that you have and convert it to a logarithm in any other base that you want. So let's say we have the base b logarithm of x. Then the change of base formula tells us that this is equal to the base a log of x divided by the base a log of b. Okay, where here b and a are any valid bases and x is anything that's allowed to be inside of a log. Okay, so where does this formula come from? Why is this true? Well, let's come off to the side here and see. So let's say we have the base b log of x. Now I'm just going to call this y. So I'm just going to call it something. Got to call it something, right? So let's just call it y. Now base b log of x equals y the equivalent exponential equation that corresponds to this is x equals b to the y. Okay, so if we say the base b log of x equals y, then that's the exact same thing as saying x equals b to the y. Now what I want to do here is take the base a log of both sides. So what I'm going to do now is take the base a log of the left side and the base a log of the right side. Okay. Okay, now on the left side we still just have base a log of x, and then on the right side what do we have? Well here we have the base a log of b to the y, and remember the power rule for logarithms that we talked about in an earlier video. The power rule says um, what we can do is take this y out and write it as a factor. Okay, so that's the power rule that was talked about and explained in an earlier video. So this is equal to y times the base a log of b. Okay, now what we can do is divide both sides move down a little bit, oops, divide both sides by the base a log of b and then we're going to get base a log of x divided by the base a log of b equals y, okay? But remember y is equal to the base b log of x, okay? So we have y is the base b log of x but also y is equal to this guy here, the base a log of x divided by the base a log of b. So that actually tells us that this right here, base b log of x, is equal to this expression right here. And that's actually exactly what the change of base formula is. Here, base b log of x equals the base a log of x divided by the base a log of b, which is what we had down here. Okay? So what's so useful about this? Well, this actually helps us if we have to evaluate approximately something like, let's say we have the base 2 log of 5. Now if you look at your calculator, chances are your calculator doesn't have a base 2 option, but what you could do is use the change base formula and convert to a base that is on your calculator. And most calculators have a base 10 or base e. Remember that's the common log and the natural log that we talked about in an earlier video. So we could uh, use the change base formula convert to base e so the natural log, so we'll have natural log of 5 over natural log of 2. Okay, so how did that work? Well, change of base formula says base b log of x equals base a log of x over base a log of b. So in this example here that we're doing, 2 is our b. Okay, 2 is our b. And 5 is the x. 5 is the x. And e, okay, that special base e that we talked about in an earlier video, e, the base for the natural log, that's our a. Okay, so remember ln5, if we say something like ln5, that's the same thing as saying base e log of 5, where e is that special number we talked about earlier. Okay, so that's what's going on there. And now, since the calculator does have the natural log capability, we can evaluate this approximately. So let's pull up a calculator and see what are we going to get. So we want to have 5 and then take the natural log of that. There we go. And then we want to divide that by the natural log of 2. Okay, so natural log of 5 divided by natural log of 2 and that approximately equals 2.3219-ish. Okay, so if we come back here, this is about equal to, oops, change colors again. 3 points, oh sorry, no, 
1, 9. Okay, so that's uh, why the change of base formula is useful because it helps us evaluate stuff like this, where if we have a logarithm that has a base that doesn't appear on our calculator, we could use the change of base formula to convert to a base that is on our calculator and that we can get an approximate value for our expression.